Hi guys, I'm AP. Today we are going to see the Kamaradhar house, which is in the Chennai, Tinagar. Okay, let's get started. We have already visited the Kamaradhar house in Virudhanagar. Now we are in the Chennai house. After he became the chief minister for Madras state at 1954, he used to live here. The main thing is, it is a rental house. And after his death, MGR, the present chief minister, who buy the house from the owner and made this house as a memorial house of Kamaraj. Kamarajar served as a chief minister for Tamil Nadu for 9 years, from 1954 to 1963, and he refused to use the Z-level security that was provided to him as a chief minister of Tamil Nadu, and instead he travelled with just one police patrol vehicle. He did not marry, he did not own any property. When he died, he left behind with just 130 rupees, two pairs of sandals, four shirts and four dhotis and few books. That's it. Kamarajar was known for his not educated CM, but he can read, write and speak English very well and he know Hindi as well. He travelled lot of Soviet nations when the country is at war. He always used to wear only white shirt and vesti even in his foreign trips. He introduced compulsory education and built numerous schools promoting literacy and opportunity. Recognizing agriculture's importance, Kamarajar initiated several irrigation projects to improve farmland productivity. This ensure better crops and food security for the state. And the thing is, at the period of Kamarajar served as a CM for Tamil Nadu, he built around 9 dams and laid many projects for the future dam project. After visiting his house, I learned one thing. A person at a time can wear only one outfit, eat only three times a day, can sleep at just six by three feet space, travel in one car, even if he is a chief minister of Madras. So the lesson learned is, don't be greedy. Even this type of living will also help us to take financially good decision. Whatever extra money you have after living a simple lifestyle, just save it or invest it for future. 